The 2016 presidential race has slowly started to take shape, and already the question of faith is a big talking point. But is it a fair line of inquiry? WGBH News reporter Adam Riley takes a look. Let this be the time when we can tell future generations what we did to make America great again. With Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker actively wooing conservatives, the Washington Post recently asked him if President Obama is a Christian. His answer? I don't know. I've actually never talked about it or I haven't read about that. I've never asked him that. For the record, the president has been clear. I'm a Christian uh, by choice. Critics pan Walker's reply as divisive or as proof that he's not ready for prime time. This is a softball question. You just say, look, president's a Christian. No, we'll take him at his word. But you know what? He's a horrible president. But others thought the question itself was unfair. The Boston Globe's Jeff Jacoby noted that lots of Americans aren't sure if Obama is a Christian, adding, why should the governor of Wisconsin be expected to weigh in? Walker has also dodged two other questions in recent days, one on evolution. Are you comfortable with the idea of evolution? Do you believe in it? Do you accept it? Uh, for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punt on that one as well. No. And one on Rudy Giuliani's claim that the president doesn't love America. The mayor can speak for himself. I, I, I'm not going to comment. A Walker spokesman later told The Post, of course the governor thinks the president is a Christian. He thinks these kinds of gotcha questions distract from what he's doing. Maybe Walker should have just said that in the first place. I had a, just a, a, a visceral reaction to that. I, I thought this was wrong of the Washington Post to be asking Scott Walker if the president is a Christian. It's one thing if you ask the president. I don't even want to know what he thinks about this. I, f I felt very troubled by it. I'm, I'm troubled in general by questions uh, about people's faith uh, in, in running for, I don't want to know if some president is praying for peace, you know, oh, don't, don't, ask, don't ask that question. I hope he's, you know, <laughs> doing more than just praying. And, but to ask some potential whether the president is, it's just, I just was completely off. Well, look, the, there's the kernel of a real issue in there, and that is surveys show that a an overwhelming percentage of Republicans believe that President Obama is a Muslim. And that's what the Washington Post was trying to yeah, get Yeah, I know at. they were. And yeah. if they had said something like, Governor Walker, what do you say to the 54 percent of whatever it is of Republicans who believe that President mm. Obama is a Muslim, it would have made sense. But they didn't. But the yeah. way they asked it was yeah. ham-handed and, and really kind of and weird. And never explained why they were they No, were I, I had the same reaction well, you did. And I agree that I, I, I don't want to know either. Had Scott Walker said, look, I don't want to dignify that question with a response, that would have been one thing and it would have been a super legitimate answer. Instead, what he did was this kind of mealy thing where he said, you know, I, I, I don't know, and he didn't own it. He, you know, he, he, he didn't, he, he managed to feed the paranoia yeah. and, and, and feed red meat to the paranoid people in the base while also, you know, but while being able to distance himself mm -hmm. from the idea exactly. of being paranoid. Exactly. At least Giuliani said something outrageous and owned it. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I like how the, the old non-answer of, of leaving the question out has now just become a shrug. It's just, well, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't talked to him. I don't know him. I don't, I can't say personally. It's a weird idea that you can't objectively say something if you haven't actively asked someone a question. Um, but overall, I think it's ridiculous. That said, I think we should probably all be prepared for a lot more of this happening because oh. everything that we're seeing right now is all these media companies are, it's turning into an arms race, basically hiring people for 2016. There's going to be probably more journalists covering this election than there have been in recent history. So we can expect a lot more situations like this. Well, look, as someone who sometimes asks questions mm -hmm. of politicians that some people don't like, I have to stand up for the right of any journalist anywhere to ask any question they damn well want to ask. And if the person doesn't want to respond, that's fine. In fact, I see Scott Walker taking a page out of the Deval Patrick playbook. Hardly a week went by during the Patrick years where I wasn't at some scrum where the governor would be asked about something that was in the news and he would say, I don't have to have an opinion on everything. And then we would move on because he was absolutely right. Um, so the notion that Walker's non-answer, however inartful, disqualifies him for the presidency, I'd like a little bit of what Dana Milbank of the Post is, who wrote that is well, smoking no, to take on my vacation. There's no question that his answer was horrible. He should have said, ask President Obama, I don't know. But I mean, he, he, it was a terrible, but I, I thought the, the question was definitely a setup. It was, he was going for something outrageous. Well, lots of questions are like that. I don't know. Maybe from the Washington Post, I expect something else.